Hello friends, today let's solve longest palindromic subsequence. Given a string S, find the longest palindromic subsequence length in F. This problem seems quite similar because we previously solved this longest palindromic substring problem. A uh, recall, we use a extend by center function. We choose every possible center and we extend from that center to get the longest palindromic substring. Because this is substring, so all the characters should be continuous in the previous string S. But now in our problem, this, uh, these characters not necessarily be continuous th in the original string S, they just need to keep the order. So how to solve this problem? Um, I will explain two solutions. One is time limit will cause time limited uh, um, exceeded error. Another is accept uh, the other is accepted. Uh, which is from recurs to dynamic programming. We will see. For example, if we are given a string uh, like this, we will first uh, start from index 0 and uh, index n minus 1. n is the length of this string. We will first uh, get uh, two, uh, two characters which are the same, which is are this A. And we will recursively to get the longest uh, palindromic uh, subsequence from index 1 to this index minus 1. Because we already get 2, so we just need to get another longest palindromic uh, subsequence in this substring and plus 1. So we just need to fix one low pointer and uh, for every high pointer we start from the n minus 1 and the to the left and we iterate all the possible substring so let's see the recurse function we call it help function and this is the string and this is the low pointer and the high pointer at the very beginning it is from 0 to n minus 1. As it, it is a recursive function, it will have a base case and a recursive case. For the base case, if the low is greater than high, we just return 0. If low equal to high, that means there is they are equal, so we return 1. Otherwise, we use a global variable called it max. Pre, uh, at the very beginning equal to zero. And the then for the i equal to low, i less than high, and for the j equal to high, j greater or equal than i, j minus minus. Okay, so start from here and start from here. If the i equal to j, that means it only has one character. So we just return the max uh, the max equal to the max of the max and the 1, and we break. If uh, not this case, and uh, the character in index at index i equal to the character at index j, we know we should uh, plus 2, and we recursively code this help function. The next index is i plus 1, j minus 1. Why do we need to break? Because we fix this i and uh, j. If we find uh, the i equal to j, we do not need to move this j to the left anymore because it should be the largest, uh, longest. So we just break. In the end, we just return the max. Uh, what's the problem of this algorithm? Well, we actually, for every fixed i, we start from the scope very large to l small, right? For this a, we start from right to left. So that means there is 
many duplicated calculations between among these. And uh, this part actually can be cached. So we should uh, convert this recursive algorithm to a dynamic programming algorithm. The direction is that we start from small scope to large scope because only in this way we can use the cached uh, results. So let's see the dynamic programming algorithm. We will new a DP array. The size is n times n. Uh, what does that mean? The longest palindromic subsequence between i and j, that's the size. So dp, like uh, for example, dp23, uh, dp25, that means the longest, uh, the size of the longest palindromic subsequence between index 2 to 5 in the string s. Okay. As I mentioned before, in order to use cached result, we should uh, start from small scope to large scope. In this case, we do not let this i start from 0 to n. We start from n minus 1 to 0. Because only in this way, when we uh, extend uh, this scope, we can use previously calculated result. Let's see how. So the i start from n minus 1 to 0. Do not forget uh, to set uh, dpi i to 1 because the length of one string is also a palindromic uh, sub uh, string. So it should at least be 1. And the j start from the i plus 1 and the j less than n. So it from its next place. And if the character at index i equal to the character at index j. The current dpi j should equal to dpi plus 1 j minus 1 plus 2. These two characters are the same, so at least we'll plus 2. But what does that mean? Because we start from right to left, that means this part we already calculated. So we can use the cache the result. Okay, so if uh, these two characters don't equal to each other, then we just uh, need to exclude uh, one of them. This, um, this case is that uh, we exclude uh, the character at index i. This case is we exclude uh, the character at index j because these two characters not equal to each other, so it uh, does not change the longest uh, palindromic uh, subsequence uh, at these two parts. So we just uh, pick it uh, max result. And in the end, we just return dp0 n minus 1. This means the whole string. OK, so now let's write the code. We get n equal to s dot length. We initialize a dp array. The size will equal to n times n. And for i equal to n minus 1, i greater or equal than 0, i minus minus. And the dpi i will equal to 1. And for j will start from i plus, I plus 1, j less than n, j plus plus. We check whether these two characters are the same. If they are the same, then dp i j will equal to dp i plus 1 j minus 1 plus 2. Otherwise, dp i j will equal to mass max dp i plus 1 j and the dp i j plus 1. In the end, the return dp0 and minus 1. Um, OK. Let's see. Oh, sorry. This should be j minus 1. OK. Uh, this is the time limit exceeded solution. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.